Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be reviewing Goat Simulator. We're going to be talking about elastic energy and we're going to show you how to make an entire trampoline out of note cards. Check it out. Welcome to The Drawing Board, the show that makes science less about this and more about this. I'm your host, David Franklin, and today we're going to get elastic. Trampoline power may be seriously overblown in lots of movies and video games, but today we're going to go ahead and give you the lowdown on how elastic energy really works, and we're going to show you how to make one of these, and also tell you if this is really even possible. The core of this project is the spring. The more springs you make, the more weight you can support. First, you will tape the two note cards together like an X, so that the tops and bottoms still separate. Then, take two note cards, trim about a half inch off of the side long ways. Now, take these two sides of the X so that they bow outwards and hold the X in place. Now you have your spring. And in order for this to work, you're gonna have to make tons of these little bad boys. I also added more note cards in the sides to give the X a little bit more rigidity. Finally, I taped note cards together in an overlapped fashion to make two sheets which I will tape over the top and bottom in order to create a solid surface to jump from. That being said, if you're going to try building this today, be safe, use all protections and precautions necessary to make sure that you and everyone else around you is as safe as possible. And if you can't or won't do that, don't do it at all because the surface you are jumping on is literally paper thin. And building it poorly or doing anything dangerous with this trampoline will probably get you some of this and we'll get me some of this. And before we get back to the build, let's fire up the game system. So essentially, the way that trampoline works is that normally when you jump, your energy goes away when you hit the ground, and then you have to jump all over again. With the trampoline, your downwards energy is transferred into the springs on the trampoline, allowing your next jump to take you higher in addition to your previous jump's energy, which has been stored in the springs. Now, if you were able to build a trampoline at peak efficiency, meaning that when you bounce, the springs didn't vibrate or make a sound, theoretically, you could bounce as high as your little heart desired. So today we're going to be talking about a popular little computer game called Goat Simulator in which the game tells you what it's like to be a goat in a magical world where goats have superpowers. So on that level, let's go ahead and assume that these goats have superpowers and they live in a world where engineers can make perfect trampolines. But the problem with that theory is, I don't know if you've ever seen a goat jump, but they're terrible at it. They're all wearing muscles like their mothers used to do. They each wear a bolster beneath their petticoats and we leave the rest of Providence. The argument could be made that yeah, these are goats with superpowers. Yeah, but no. It's following the same argument that the thing followed last week on our Fantastic Four episode. If your body was able to overproduce muscular energy called ATP, yeah, maybe you could have super strength, but that's assuming that mutation was possible. So yeah, sure. In a mutant world full of mutant goats and mutant engineers, I suppose this is possible. But in the real world, it's not. It's not. And I think that counts as a no. I think that, you know what, no, no, this is my show, it counts. If it doesn't exist in this world, it doesn't exist. So yes, in a world where trampolines were absolutely perfect, which doesn't exist in the real world, and goats were able to jump higher, or even if they weren't, they could achieve as high as they wanted, but they still wouldn't do it as fast as we would, and clearly, I don't know if you've ever jumped hundreds of feet in the air off of a trampoline, but a goat certainly couldn't. Welcome back, and before we try out our trampoline, we're gonna go ahead and explain to you why it works. But didn't you just do that? Well, yeah, but we didn't do any math or science. That's what we do here. Science. So first up, what is energy? That means alpha D equals MC squared! You've got no idea what you're messing with, cowboy. I got 12 inch rims on my chair. No, 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 no. no. Energy is made up of calories, just like you get from your food. When you eat food, you gain calories or you gain energy. And when you walk or ride a bike or even just breathe, you use energy or you burn calories. And when you drop a ball, energy is transferred. When I hold this ball up here, it has the potential to fall to the earth. 
which is what we call potential energy. As it falls, potential energy is converted into gravitational energy until it runs out of potential energy when it hits the ground. Then that is transformed into two forms of energy, both dissipated energy, which is the sound that you hear, and elastic energy, which allows the ball to stretch and then bounce back. Elastics exist in lots and lots of things, anything from your basketball to your trampoline springs to the shocks on that giant jacked up truck at the gym. It's just about anything that flexes, stretches, bends, or bounces has elastic energy. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Drawing Board. If you like what you saw, go ahead and like and share this video. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe and make sure to tune in next week when we're going to be talking about Newton's Laws, Iron Man, and we're going to go flyboarding. Also, if you have any ideas for future shows, including builds or discussion topics or anything like that, go ahead and let us know in the comment section below. And before then, make sure not to do anything stupid with what you learned here today, because if you do, you might end up a little bit like this. <laughs> and then we'll be like this. And I can actually kind of go up and down on it like a trampoline. So, yeah. Now I'm going to try it off the roof. I'm going to legit try it off the roof. It's not going to work, I can tell you now.